All right, now looking at other global developments. North Korea has announced the successful launch of its first spy satellite in orbit on Tuesday. It vowed to launch more in the near future, flying in the face of condemnation by the United States and its allies. North Korea state media had released pictures of the Supreme Leader of North Korea, Kim Jong-un, watching the North first spy satellite launch. The launch prompted Japan to issue a missile warning for the island of Okinawa, urging residents to take shelter inside buildings for underground or go underground. Now, the launch was first reported by officials in South Korea and Japan. They could not immediately verify whether a satellite has been placed in the orbit. Pentagon spokesperson Sabrina Singh said that the U.S. military continued to analyze the success of the launch. A notice of the launch in the direction of the Yellow Sea and East China Sea was given to Japan's Coast Guard. The notice prompted immediate condemnation by Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida. Kishida said his country's defense system stood ready for any unexpected situation. Now, the White House also strongly condemned North Korea over its space launch, calling it a brazen violation of UN sanctions that could destabilize the region. Moreover, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres denounced the satellite launch as being against Security Council resolutions on the subject. The complex puzzle is what I said. Now, this is North Korea's third launch attempt this year. Pyongyang considers its space and military rocket programs a sovereign right and has said it plans a fleet of satellites to monitor moves by the United States and South Korean troops. Analysts say the spy satellites are crucial to improving the effectiveness of North Korea's weapons. Meanwhile, South Korea separately plans to launch its first reconnaissance satellite from California on November 30th with U.S. assistance.